Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to be installing some carpet in Sacramento and here you can see my helpers already getting started. Uh, Mr. Doggo is here inspecting the material <laughs> and this is a really small job. It's just installing some padding and carpet in a about an 11 by 13 room and this carpet was installed over VCT tiles so a lot of the tack strip is coming up and so I'm going to show you how to hammer into that stuff to reach the concrete coming up. So here's the tackless. It's actually a commercial grade tackless, meaning it's wider than normal tackless that you would install in residential homes. Usually this tackless comes with a 12 gauge concrete nail and it's 5 8 of an inch. Um, sometimes you can upgrade and get a thicker one so you can get a 10 gauge, which is that right there. But you can see that when it's only 5 8 of an inch, it doesn't reach the concrete, it just nails into the VCT tile. So I'm going to be using a 1 inch concrete nail. So it's still a 5.8 or it's still a 10 gauge, but it's one inch. So it's going to penetrate the concrete. And I'll put links in the description for all that so you don't get confused. But there you can see the tack list is popping up. I'm going to show you hammering uh, just the regular 5.8 of an inch 10 gauge nail. And there you can see it didn't do anything at all. And this is the one inch 10 gauge nail. There you see we have a very, very secure fit. So that's a nice secure fit. And what I like to do is just go around the room, pull on the tack list a little bit and see which areas are weak and just secure them because I am going to be power stretching the carpet in. So I'd rather do it now than stretch and have it pop up. So now all the padding is down, all the tack list is secure. I'm going to get ready and do that seam at the doorway and then I'm going to stretch everything in. But here's a look before everything is nice and tight. And that's pretty much it. There's my doorway seam right there. And the carpet's a little bit different because the carpet in the hallway is an old a nylon carpet. And this is actually a PET polyester, so it's not gonna last as long, but it is a rental, so it is what it is. And there's my power stretcher, and I power stretch everything nowadays. Even if it's builder's grade carpet, it doesn't matter what it is. I only use my knee kicker maybe to bump something here and there, but you got to get used to using a power stretcher if you're doing installs. It's just so much better on your body. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching.